Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I draw stuff and sometimes talk about things that are random, but I haven't gotten to that yet. But hopefully one day I will, because that'd be pretty great, but I have nothing to talk about so far, so I'm just gonna talk about my drawings. Um, so, okay, I was just tracing over the basic shapes in this, um, in this part here because, um, that's pretty useful to do so that your painting doesn't turn out looking wonky again with that word Ooh, yeah okay so um yeah that's what i was doing here i picked blue because it's easy to see i don't know why i even have to talk about that um but i thought it would be cool to um to use this painting today to draw um this is a draw this in your style challenge too it's by jasmine and uh, it's like pretty cool or is it jasmine i'm pretty sure it probably is jasmine but like that's how it's spelled so i'll put the, the um the link in the description to her instagram because she's an amazing artist and you guys should check her out um and yeah so i wanted to draw this because it looked really heckin cool so yeah Let the sketching commence! Hey. So I decided to draw a little grid, um, just a four grid, um, so that I could sketch out where like her face would be and everything, because otherwise I would not- it would not turn out that great, so yeah. And I was having a difficult time with this hand. Um, it just looked like it was wobbling. Just like whoop, like you know, it was weird. Um, so yeah, I had to tweak it a lot. Um, I think I'm just going to cut a few like pieces out of this speed paint because it's just me drawing the hand over and over again. Um, so that was fun. So. Basically, I- well, one- I already- I just started sketching, so it's cool, whatever. Um, <laughs> and also I just wanted to say that I'll probably be adding more videos to this channel now that I'm in quarantine, A, Um, cause I have no school, and I don't really have- like, I have too much time on my hands, so I could probably paint more now that- have all this extra time so that's fun um i'll be talking to you guys more i guess and probably sharing things like dumb things about my day uh hopefully just for fun because <laughs> i don't know what else to talk about on this channel um or rant about stupid art things that i don't really know much about um Hmm, I don't know which, where I want to, like, what I want to do with this channel, honestly. Like, I, I want it to be, like, something, like, kind of commentary, but I don't really have much to talk about. So, like, I'm trying to think of things. Maybe I should, like, research topics in uh, um, the art world and talk about those. Like, I don't know, if someone did something shady or something, I could probably talk about that or... I don't know, but like, I don't really, I don't really know much about what's going on in the art world. Like, I don't know who's tracing, I don't know like, all of this stuff. I mean, I could give my opinions about tracing in general, um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I could talk about tracing, like, it's not... It's a very old topic now, like, a lot of people have talked about it, I don't know what else- But I could probably figure out some- uh, some other stuff I can talk about about the art world, but like, I don't know, leave a comment in the description about what I can talk about, because I have no ideas, honestly. So, yeah. By the way, future Ellie, so that you can keep track of this, this took me three and a half hours, so yeah, this is just a note for myself that
that I leave at the beginning of my video every time because I want to keep track of how long it takes me to draw. I don't know why I do this, it's just something that I do because I want to keep track of it um, just for curiosity's sake, so yeah. Because I think that would be- So this is me just blocking out all the colors, um, because the hair was kind of difficult, it was a lot of colors, and I don't really- I'm pretty bad at chaining hair, <laughs> I'm sorry for like, being mean, but like, it's true, like, I just don't- I- I don't have enough practice or something, like, I'm just not practicing right. You know what I mean? Like, I- I just don't know how to draw hair. Um, <laughs> I should, like, look up some more tutorials or something. Like, I'll- I'll figure it out eventually, but for now, I don't really- I don't- I- yeah, I- it's not my strong suit. Um, I mean, sometimes it turns out well, but other times it's just like, oh god, what is that? Um, and yeah so here i i just like try tried to so important things i learned while i was painting this piece is that you want to use a lot of random colors in hair or like in skin even like just it's it's so much fun to like throw in purples into blonde hair and be like whoa it actually works and it looks pretty cool like that and, um, so, I think, e and, like, there's, there's certain colors that probably make it seem like things are farther away or something like that, because I noticed that once I added the colors, it kind of, like, changed dimensions, and, like, certain things looked farther away, and then some things looked closer. So, like, I can't tell if that was from the colors, but I think that the colors really helped with that. Um, so the colors I used mainly is like different, like, um, dull shades of, of blue and purple. And then for the highlights I used green, um, because that's the colors that Jazz used. So like, I kind of used that too. Um, so I learned a lot of like important things while I was painting this because it's always helpful to learn from someone that's a at a higher skill level than you are. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so I used purple for the, for the, like, um, for the shading, I guess. And then, yeah, green was for the highlights and then blue was for the in-betweens, I suppose is that what? is probably what it was. Okay, um, I tried to add, like, um, highlights in the hair that were different colors, but it turned out looking like she has streaks, but I mean, I'm cool with that too, that's pretty cool. Um, so, like, I don't mind it. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how that was. Um, and here I started shading the skin, so that was fun. Fun times. Um, Okay, I want to rant about this book that's, like, really good. Um, so it's called Mistborn, and it's, like, pretty freaking cool. It's about these people that, um, that, like, they, they use different metals, so you drink, like, a vial of different metals, and then, like, you can use those metals in different powers. So, like, Peter is, um, or Lead is, um, is, like, for, uh, so you can like numb your pain and like so if even for running it helps because if you run and you drink or burn Peter 
then you can like run faster well you can run the same speed but you can run for longer so it's like pretty cool and um and it also like helps with like pain wise and and then there's like different other medals too and it's like pretty neat um i really like the series uh the way that the characters interact is like pretty like i guess realistic and it's pretty cool to see like the different characters um and yes yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun series um you can and like in the in the same series you can like um push your pull medals so if you like throw a coin on the ground you can like push your you can like push off of the coin like in quotation marks and then you can fly into the air and it's pretty cool um it's a really fun series i suggest you check it out i'm not sponsored i'm too small for that currently um so <laughs> not sponsored um but definitely a good read um if you don't like reading then check out the audiobook because it's still pretty great it's about people trying to overthrow the government um in a made-up world not in not a real country or anything but like you know it's still fun um <laughs> So yeah, that's, that's what has been on my mind. This is so random, but I like how the fingers turned out. <laughs> like, that's like the weirdest thing I've ever said, but like, it's- I, I thought that the shading was cool on them, so like, I'm proud of them. You know, like, I, I, I never thought I would be saying this, but yeah. Also, the nose looks wonky. I changed it later. It's not a big deal. I swear I changed it. Um, <laughs> it was really weird. It looked like it was a stick. I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking when I drew that nose. I mean, okay, even when I was drawing it, I thought that was weird, but like, it's okay, whatever, as long as I changed it, right? Um. Also, now I realize that the lips were like way too small, but like, I didn't realize it until the end, because you know when you're drawing and like, you're like, Oh, this looks fine. This is like pretty cool actually. And then you go back and look at it later and you're like, oh crap, the eyes are like dots on the face or like something like that. <laughs> Cause yeah, that's happened to me too many times. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then like the eyes turned out really wonky at first too, but like I changed them later. Um, and yeah, one of the eyebrows were like falling off of the face, uh, you know, 
stuff like that. Um, it's because, so I, I figured out that the eyes looked really weird because one, one of them was not positioned right. Um, and also because they were like basically just drawn on the face so they didn't have anything like around them. So they're basically like just plastered onto a flat face and it was really weird looking. Um, really weird looking. So I had to change that and I did. So it's no big deal. I'm, I'm gonna keep still keep all of this in, the, in here because that way I can go back and look at it later and be like, wow, Ellie, what was that? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Also, just a little bit of advice, when you're um, drawing around eyes or you're drawing in the pupils, never use black because it'll look too cartoony, unless you're going for a cartoony look, and even if you're doing a cartoony look, then sometimes it's still too harsh, and going for like a dark reddish purple is always good. Um, that's something I learned while I was painting this, um, and it's really helpful, honestly. Uh, same thing with whites. Don't use white in the eyes. Use a darker, like, almost yellowy gray color, I suppose. And that helps. that great at um, shading clothes so like whatever I just like I usually draw heads only so I don't really have to worry about that usually so like that's why I stink at it but like I'll get better eventually but like I'm just saying that I'm not a professional so that's why it's not that great um so yeah I apologize for that um <laughs> So yeah, here I just like changed the, the headband thing, not the headband, the clip, um, because I thought that the wings were too small and I needed them to stand out more. So yeah. Okay, I really like this effect, this, um, like, dodgy one, yeah, that one, that just happened. I found that it was so cool, but, like, I actually couldn't incorporate it into my art anywhere, so it was really sad, but I'll use it some other day in some of my other art, and it'll be fun, um, I couldn't really come up with a background, because my original plan was to make a background, and I was like, nah, I'm not doing that, um, because I just couldn't think of one that would suit the painting um so yeah i just added my signature and called it a day called it a day yeah there we go um <laughs> uh, and then i changed the e because i didn't like it <laughs> the finished piece um I'll show up in a second um so I had fun drawing this painting well painting this painting and it was a good experience 
Um, I learned a few things about painting, and I hope you guys are staying corona free. I don't know what I'm saying here. Basically, don't get the coronavirus, and stay safe, um, and see you in the next video.